folks, it's me, Scream and Sammy Scatch, coming at you again from PAX South 2016, and I am here with Jerry. We are talking about Flat Kingdom. What is Flat Kingdom? Well, Flat Kingdom is a platformer, but with a lot of elements of the Metroidvanias, because you use flat, just a simple doodle, have, have the, this power to change between shapes, like circle, triangle, and square. And in this world, you need to beat the enemies that are also geometrical shapes. So, circle beats a square, Square beats triangle and triangle beats circle. So a little bit like a rock, paper, scissors mechanic? Exact. But also uh, the enemies change uh, dynamically be, be, uh, to different shapes and also the, uh, the bosses have these uh, magical shapes in their faces and in their bodies. So you have to think before attacking. And also you discover new skills because it's a very, very huge world and you have to return when you get a new skill to discover uh, new stages. So it, you upgrade as you play along through the game and just get better and better? Yeah, you get better and better, have a, a lot of skills for e each of the of the forms, and also have a lot of replayability because have more than 12 hours of gameplay, a very cool soundtrack by Manami Matsumae, the one from Trouble Knight and Mega Man, and also uh, have the uh, two different endings, and for people who love challenging games, it have the takes a lot of time to make the 100% of the game. And you said two different endings, does that mean there's a lot of story that goes along with the game? Yeah, uh, it was made for people who like, like to skip story and just uh, play, but also for people who like to read lots of journals, like the RPG fans. So for having the 100% of the game, you have to discover a lot of things and to battle secret uh, bosses and a lot. When's the game coming out? It is going to be out on two months in the middle of March for PC and Mac on Steam and in PS4 at the end of the year. Where can people follow along until then? Well, uh, you can uh, follow it in flatkingdom.com and also in social network, Facebook and Twitter. You can print art toys uh, of a flat and also posters and everything. Awesome. But, and also right now you can listen to the soundtrack on Spotify and iTunes. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jerry, for talking with me about this game. Thanks. Hey folks, it's me, Sketch, and I'm here talking with Jerry again at PAX 2016. This time we are talking about Lobo with Shotguns. What is Lobo with Shotguns? Well, actually the name is Don't Mess with Lobo with Shotguns. Don't mess, alright, fair enough, it sounds serious. Yeah, it's kind of like an 80s kind of, like the movies from the 80s with the vibe of the Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez films because it's a very vintage game that have this look of a VHS kind of cassette or Betamax. So it's an arcade beat them up. Uh, it's kind of difficulty game. You use Lobo, a werewolf that have two magical shotguns with a lot of magical kind of ammo and his motorcycle and a lot of powers. He have to rescue his girlfriend, the White Witch, from the Crimson Monk, a satanic kind of a monk that turns all the prisoners from a prison into his minions, the evil monsters. It sounds like uh, definitely a little bit of a cheesy grindhouse, yeah, you know, kind of blocky story. fun, right? Well, you're gonna uh, see in the main graphics that have, you know, this kind of inconsistencies. Like there's characters that sometimes they change their color of their eyes, and the boom of the, you know, the recording just <laughs> somehow, uh, have, you know kind of like cheesy and cheap made but made on purpose right 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 uh, and also uh, for movie fans have a, a lot of references to pop culture like have for uh, like um, Friday 13 Jason Freddy Krueger also from Donnie Darko and the people who you put the creepy bunny in there uh, yeah Frank kind <laughs> of like, a, like a, a reference there and also the animation is pretty cool because you have the sound effects, pow, bam, and stuff like that, like the old pulp So you comics. went with a comic book style for sort of the cutscenes and telling the story? Yeah, have this kind of cheesy animation of the Marvel uh, animation from the 60s that they were just cutouts from the comics. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we have the Black Witch here. That the is Black the, Witch? Yeah, it's the sidekick of Lobo. I don't know if Lobo is his sidekick actually because she also kick ass. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Where did the idea for the game come from? The idea, because we just love like these cheesy kind of movies and we want to make a game that have a very strong prem, uh, promise 
in the title, like the Nazis woman from the Mars and sure, stuff like that. So yeah. it's don't mess with love with shotguns. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks again, Jerry. Thanks. You have a great pack, sir. Ah, uh, thank you. Awesome.